Hey everyone, it is Monday, April 3rd, and I am here at 7 o'clock in the morning. I don't actually have to be here until 7.45, but I needed to get some things done for my pre-observation today. I am being observed on Wednesday of this week, so I just need to finish putting a couple things together for my lesson plan so that I can meet with my administration at 9 o'clock this morning while my students are at specials. So usually when I get here early, it's because I have something to do that I didn't do the night before. And like I said, it's to finish putting together my lesson plan for Wednesday. Grades are also due on Thursday of this week, so I have to spend some time during my planning and a little bit after school today finishing grades. When I was younger, grading for my teachers was the best thing ever. And now that I'm a teacher, it's the worst thing ever. I hate grading papers. I would much rather do exit slips and grade them and see where my students are at every day than give them independent work or long-term assignments. It's just, I know it's beneficial to them, but actually doing it, not that fun. Today starts the great pencil challenge. So I am going to take the pencils that I have, wrap them in washi tape with their name on them, and whoever can keep their pencil the longest will receive a prize because these are probably all the pencils that I have left for the rest of the year. The great American pencil challenge. <laughs> I am going to get a sandwich with my boyfriend for dinner and then I'm on my way to my friend Kelly's house who I do LuLaRoe with. We are having a Maxi Monday sale. So if you're interested, you should join our LuLaRoe group. It's LuLaRoe, Kelly, and Candace on Facebook. So I will see you guys Tuesday morning. Bye. Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, April 4th. It's 65 this morning. It is gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm so excited to go to school this morning because I love my top. It's a perfect tee from LuLaRoe. I love how bright it is. I just feel so vibrant and bright this morning. I don't know why. It just feels like a really great morning. Hey everyone. So I learned on Friday that I was getting a new student. That puts me at 29 students. I just wanna let you guys see my room. It is a little bit of a mess, but this is my room. And this is the room that I have to fit 29 students in now. Like, come on, where am I supposed to fit 29 kids? I even have a floor table. I don't know if you could see that. It is Wednesday, April 5th, and I'll be honest, I have not been vlogging much this week. It is the week before spring break, and it is dragging. I am so tired. I don't even, like, I have nothing to say other than I'm tired. I could probably repeat myself and tell you that I'm tired a hundred times, and that vlog would just be completely horrible. So, so I started the Great Pencil Challenge on Monday. I started calling it the Great American Pencil Challenge, but I don't know why I added the American in there. It is continuing and it has been quite a day. We've already had students lose their pencils. We've had students steal other students' pencils 
And quite frankly, I've told them, I don't care. I have given you a pencil on a Monday. How are you not capable of keeping your pencil for at least a week? At least a week. We have some students whose pencils have already been sharpened and dwindled down. We have had students lose their pencils and have needed another pencil, but that student has found another way to get a pencil. And that's my point. That's the whole reason why I started it is because that same student continues to need a pencil every single day. And it's like, what are you doing with them? Hoarding them in your desk? And he's not. I have no idea what he's doing with them. So the pencil challenge is continuing. We have a field trip tomorrow. So a lot of this week has been just reminding our students behaviors and expectations and representing yourselves, your family, your school, your teacher, your class. And students at this age don't understand that. They don't understand that every single behavior has a consequence. That consequence could be a negative or a positive consequence. And I think when they hear the word consequence, they automatically think that it's negative. But our students do need praise. So we've been discussing a lot of our behaviors, our non-negotiables, my expectations for them, and how they should behave on a field trip. I was supposed to get observed today. That did not happen due to an incident that happened during recess which is okay. It is frustrating to have your observation rescheduled. However, it's life and it will happen and you should just go with the flow because that's what I'm doing, going with the flow. Hey everyone, it is Friday, April 7th, the day before spring break. I'm so excited that today is the last day and we have a week long break. We need this. I don't think some people understand how bad teachers need breaks from kids. They can drive us to be exhausted sometimes. I can't really talk that much because I haven't even eaten breakfast. I have my observation today, which that should have happened a long time ago, but it's happening today, so I have to get some stuff together for that. We are having a half day schedule and playing in a staff versus student basketball game this afternoon. I am the staff coach because I didn't want to play on the team, so I asked to be the coach. I know nothing about basketball. And I have to go and make copies for our math lesson and I'm going to have them do like a spring word search. So I will get back to you guys at the end of the day when I have more time. Bye. Hey everyone, it is the end of the day. And as you can see, I am not at school anymore. I am back home. Why are you whining? That's my dog whining. And I would have loved to have logged at school. However, there was stuff that I had to deal with. I had to make two parent phone calls. And it just stinks that this was the last day before break and I still had to deal with behaviors. I still had to call parents. And it stinks for the child, not just me. Like, it stinks for the child having to go home hearing from their parents that their teacher called them regarding their behavior today. So right now I am sitting in my family's living room playing with my dog. I first want to apologize for not having as much content this week. This week's vlog is probably just going to be me talking. I really didn't get the opportunity to vlog and show you guys what I wanted to show you. (laughs) Do you guys hear my dog in the background? But I did want to say that the Great Pencil Challenge was a success. Uh, The student that usually ends up losing his pencil still lost his pencil on the second day. However, everyone else kept their pencil. Some of them did, chose not to use their pencil. Some of my students chose to use it, but was able to successfully keep it and use it all week. And it just was so nice this week, not having to get out pencils every day and not having my students ask me for pencils. So if you are a teacher or you are a student teacher, I would start implementing the great pencil challenge and just make it up. Like, Just make it what it could be and your students will fall for it. And it's not necessarily falling for it, but it's gaining control of your classroom in that sense that students won't have to always bother you for a pencil. Granted, yes, teachers should have pencils on hand. That is something so small that teachers can handle themselves and not have to deal with. However, when students are asking every single day for a pencil, You have to get it under control. So the Great Pencil Challenge is one way that you can do it. If you have any other ways of getting pencils under control, please leave a comment in the section below. What do you do to eliminate students from asking to borrow pencils? Because it was out of control. And I know it's taken me about 140 days to figure it out, but at least I did. 
I wanted to share that it was a success and I want to continue doing it. I even asked my students if they wanted to continue doing it after spring break and they all said yes. So and all they earned at the end of the week was a piece of candy. But my students love candy and they rarely get candy. So to them, that is something special. It's something small. Teachers giving candy. It's like what they're going to remember. Yeah, my fifth grade teacher gave me candy all the time, but I don't give them candy all the time. And that's what makes it special. My dog is so cute. Do you guys want to see him? Hi, Willie. Do you want to sit for everyone? Oh, you are already sitting. Do you want to show some tricks for them? Come here. Okay, ready? Good boy. You're laying down. You want to roll over? Oh, you, you do just want to play. Okay, lay down. Lay down. Good boy. Roll over. Oh, good boy. Up. On your butt. Oh, nope. On your butt. I shouldn't be saying on your butt, but... Look at, look, oh, oh, oh my goodness, isn't he the cutest? Oh, this should just be a vlog about you, Willie. So when I put my palm like this, he usually, I'm not getting the best angle, sorry y'all, I usually, he can go up on his bottom. There he goes, see? Yeah, you're a good boy, you're a good boy, look at you. See, I just have to twist my palm like this, and yeah, you're a good boy. This is the first time in five years that I have been able to walk out of that school with nothing in my hands. I had my coffee cup and my lunchbox, and that was it, and I walked out of school, and it felt great. And one of the other teachers, my friends, Allison, asked, am I walking out because I don't want to take anything home or am I walking out because I don't have anything to take home? And I can truly admit the truth is I don't have anything to take home. I don't have anything to plan for necessarily. I can do that on the Monday after Easter and I can do that from home. I love Google Drive for that reason. Okay, my dog is whining. Obviously, I have to play with him. I'm signing off and I will see you guys the next time I see you. Bye.